Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we are going to be learning about the 406 error. Now 406 error, you ha might have heard about the 404 error, most probably you have seen it a lot when uh, that actually means that your URL doesn't exist and it's a very common error. But 406 uh, or not acceptable uh, error is not a very common error and you wouldn't normally see it. So basically it only means that your browser, uh, web browser requests information from the server. They provide an accept header that notifies the server which uh, data types the browser may accept it. Now if the server is unable to transmit data in any of the contacts specified in the accept header, you will see the 406 error. So in today's video we are going to be learning about that this um, error is basically a client side error it sometimes like very very rarely can happen on the server side as well but mostly it happens on the client side and in today's video we will be learning about how you can overcome that problem by only adding a tiny bit of code in the dot htaxs file of your wordpress file so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video all right guys so it's super simple to um change or basically fix that 406 error simply you need to access the file manager so I'm going to access it through my WordPress app so in file manager you need to access the htaccess.htaccess file right click on it go into code editor and once you come over here scroll down at the very end and right over here, add this piece of code. Just paste over here, click on save and just this piece of code, this will be mentioned in the description of this video as well. And just this piece of code will fix that error, that 406 error that you're having and your site will be good to go with just this piece of error. Uh, uh, code. So I hope this video was informative for you guys. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel.